the second. Barrel and Billy racing third, moving up on the outside as they go to the back stretch. That's flashy image, fourth. Bucky D is there, fifth. Paratide Nat, sixth. Poe Blue, seventh at the quarter and 28 and four fifths seconds. Offenbach gets that lead. Berkey's Woe is there, second. Moving around at fire turn. Barrel and Billy racing third. As they come to the halfway mark, Corky's Woe and Offenbach, they're head and head as they come to the halfway mark. Barrel and Billy is there third. Flashy Image is fourth as they come to the halfway mark. Up on the outside, Bucky D is fifth, Paratine at sixth. Half and 59 and three. Moving around the clubhouse turn, going to the back stretch. With that lead off and Bach on the outside, Corky's Woe well alone the rail, and as they move to the back stretch, there goes Barrel and Billy, now third. Barrel and Billy moves right on up to take over the lead. That's Barrel and Billy with the lead off, and Bach is there second, going to the three quarters. Barrel and Billy has that lead to three quarters, 131 and three. Racing second is off and Bach. Flashy image is now third. Bucky D is fourth, rounding the fire turn. Barrel and Billy has the lead by five open lengths as they come out of the turn into the stretch. Barrel and Billy opening up the lead now. Off and back is second, Corky's well third. It's Barrel and Billy, the battles for place. Here they are. It was an easy 10-length victory for number two, Barrel and Billy, owned by Sam Green of West Bloomfield, Michigan, trained by Kevin Ephemus, driven by Merritt Doki. Number two, Barrel and Billy paid $380, $3.240. Number three, Corky's Woe, $660, $320. Number six, Offenbach paid $680 to show. The Perfecta, two and three, paid $24.20. Trifecta, two, three, and six, $99 even. Barrel and Billy, driven by Merritt Doki, that was Merritt's second one.